Hi, I'm Ron Netter, and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Netter. This episode, we're going to talk about how to view live TV on your TiVo Stream 4K. Yes, folks, that's right, and it's not that hard to do, and I think you're going to be very surprised. This content is also available as an Amazon Flash Briefing or Podcast. Please go to techbyteswithronnetter.com for more information. For items mentioned in this video, there are affiliate links in the description. If you click on these links, I will get a small commission, but that won't affect the price you pay for the item. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe and enable notifications. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on the like button, thumbs up. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go over the hardware that's required, how to set it up, and then we'll actually show you how to get things up and running. So the first part you're already familiar with, and that's the... TiVo Stream 4K. And this is actually, I think, a little bit of a, of a sleeper, folks, because this has got a lot of functionality to it. And I, only because I've already got another piece of the puzzle, did I find out how to get this done. So really, you're, you're going to be very happy, I think, with, with what you see. And the missing piece of the puzzle is the... Uh, home hd home run i'll get out here in a moment and i've got the duo now they make two flavors of this one and they make some others but this one is the two tuner one i've actually got two of these but that really is uh well there's a whole other story to why i ended up with two but it really is it's very flexible and we'll go ahead and get started with the first piece to get this up and running and that's going to be First, you'll, as you can see here from the back, let me, uh, let me try something here. And let's, can we do, okay, I'm going to back up. I'm, I'm using a, a new digital video recorder and trying to figure out the best way to do this. Okay, come on here. We'll have it up here in just a moment. Anyways, it rolls back around. There's going to be three things on the back of the, HD home run that you're going to need to deal with. First is the Ethernet connection, because this does not have wireless support. Not a big deal, it just doesn't. And then the connection to the right of that is for power. And the coaxial connector, or F connector as I will call them, that is where you can either hook it up to a cable system, or I've got a couple of uh, over-the-air antennas plugged in. And the reason I came up with two of these is because because initially I was recording a lot of off-the-air stuff, and with it having, I, I, it, I didn't initially think I was going to need to have more than two tuners, which, by the way, as of today's pricing, uh, this is available on Amazon for about $100. So that price may change. I ended up probably spending more if I had just bought the quad tuner one to start with. Now, once you've got that plugged in to the network, whoops, wrong input, uh, you'll need to find out the IP address that it has. And there's a few things you'll want to go through and do. Now, this is just because of how I'm used to running it, and that's why we're going to have a, a, maybe a few extra steps. Now, there, you'll need to go through, and if, it's got, if it requires an update, it should tell you here, but more likely you'll go under system status, and it says firmware up to date. And this is something probably every couple of months that, you, that you'll want to go through and check just because there's always fixes. And I mean, I've had these for several years, and God bless the folks at HD Home Run. They're keeping firmware updates out. I see about probably two or three a year, so that, that doesn't hurt. Now, you can elect to send them diagnostic information or not, and the system log will kind of tell you what's going on. But anyway, you'll to, in order to get to this, you need to know what IP address is. And going into your uh, wireless router or whatever your firewall is at home is going to be exactly what you need to do. So let's go back up one more page here. Now, what you'll want to do here, now tuner status is another one that's good to know. This is going to tell you if anything is going on, and we're already at some of the screen, if somebody is, if you say if you've got multiple sources referencing this, whether it be the TiVo Stream Deck 4K or whatever, if it's in use, it's going to tell you it's in use. Not necessarily by who, but it will say it's in use and what channel. 
And this is where I started having problems recording because I didn't initially figure out the correlation of working out with the scheduling. So this is a good screen to know about. Now, what you'll want to do here is go into channel lineup. Now, this is what so this is another thing you may have to go through periodically again several times a year at least once a quarter because at least in the Kansas City market TV stations have been coming up and going away also depending on where your antenna is you will run into situations where sometimes of the year because of foliage or whatever you can hear or see certain stations and other times you can't so you'll want to make sure that, you, that you've told it whether it's on antenna or cable, and click Detect Channels. Now, I usually do this as a separate step because this way it's going to tell me what channels it's seeing, and then I have to figure out if it's something going on between that and the, uh, whoops, one, one screen too far there, and the integration within the HD Home Run app, which that brings us to our next puzzle here, and that's not, oh, come on here. Well, now did we not? Oh, there's Chrome. Oh, hold it. I, I thought the PC was up in play and it, and it wasn't. It's the, uh, okay, come on here. There we go. I had to find the right button to wake it up. Now, to add the HD Home Run app, we'll go over here to Apps. And Get More Apps is highlighted by default. And then we will go up here and we'll turn off my ugly mug for a bit and let's we'll go through here and do uh, H D there we go and there it is right out of the gate so we will go ahead and install that yes we want to install and this is going to get in the way a little bit so let me turn that off and it doesn't really take that long. And we'll go ahead and say open. Now it does take a little bit when it first comes up. And it's going to tell you the number of tuners it's seeing out there. And in my case, I've got a second tuner. But right now it's on a different network. I have, I'm in the process of transitioning things over to the network that my Ubiquiti gear is on. But that's another video. Actually, I've done several videos on the Ubiquiti gear. So we'll click on continue. So, and we'll actually cut off that right away because I don't want to get hit with a copyright strike. So you can see there basically, if let me go back in here real quickly and if we can do, let's see, how will we do? Let me think this one through here for a bit. If we do, whoops, okay, here, let's do here. Come on. Oh, there we go. And then you can see how you get, it, you're just learning how to bring the menus up. I think it was a, the right arrow and you can go into more, more details. So that's all you really have to do. And the, the, the key thing is, is in going into this screen and getting the firmware updated and doing the channel lineup. Now, that's one way to do it. And I'm going to show you the second way. And I didn't tell you that going into this. So we will go into, let's back out of this. I thought I had already. Okay, we'll totally get out of this app. Now... And this won't always show up right. Let's get all the way back out to the main screen. Now, what we should see, and it took a while for this to show up when I did this on my other one. But let's go ahead and we'll get back over here to apps. And that's probably because I, now there we go. There's live channels. I just didn't have it on my favorites. There was the problem. Okay, now live channels is the TiVo supplied application and it's I, there's advantages and you're going to there's another video that I'm going to have on this to show you there's an advantage to using the TiVo supplied app now this is a beta situation so keep in mind here that uh, it's you know may get a little quirky and we'll just go through the main screen so it's not a big deal uh, it's going to, we'll set up the sources. Now see the network TV tuner. This is okay. Well, actually this is HD home run input, but we'll go ahead and select tuner. And then it's going to 
Bear Valley Tuner is powered up. So you're, you you kind of have to go through some of this. And we'll grant permission and allow and antenna. And see, it's already figured out where I am. So at this point, I'm going to tell it just antenna and done. So part of this, I would like to think that we that we have managed to uh, avoid some of the uh, hassle of going through the setup because I I've done it both ways and it's you you pick your poison. I always like having a second app because I have found with the live. See, let me get back over here to the we'll, we'll click on the done with the live channels piece and we'll click on the menu program guide so it does do it you know it's got a decent little program guide in here right now it hasn't got anything yet because it's still in the process of downloading that it does it, it seems like it's a little more sensitive i've got one station that at certain times of the year it's a little touchy on picking up it, it with digital tv it, you either get it or you don't unlike the days of analog when i could be in east texas and pick up a station in little rock arkansas late at night and be pretty clear you don't do that with digital you either get it or you don't and that's sometimes where you may have to change your antenna you may have to go to a very directional antenna to based on where the uh, stations are located and that's not something you you've dealt with before let me know i can get a whole video set up on how to figure out where to point the antenna and we'll actually you know we will pick my location i mean it's it's you know not a big deal so this is all that's required to to get it up and running now do keep in mind and i'm going to switch back over here to this when you are on, when you are using the HD Home Run Tuner, this and it's a metal box. At least the, the two that I've gotten were metal boxes. That may get a little warm, so keep in mind that that's something that you want to make sure you don't pile a bunch of stuff on it. It, of course, what it's doing, it's simply going to get warm. That's that's the nature. It shouldn't get real hot though. So now you've seen what it takes to get it up and running, and this really makes it even the TiVo Stream 4K, even more of a tool that you want to have in your smart home because now, in addition to... Let's see, can I pick the right input? Ha! I found it. Okay, now see, in this case, we can go up here on the main menu and we can select the app. Well, we, well we'll select HD Home Run and then we will go back out here and select live channels so now they're on the what i would call the the speed dial list hulu uh will remove i don't use that one at this point disney will remove so now you've got uh, an easier way to do it and what we can do is we press and hold on hd and we can select move and we can actually move hd up to the front so basically it's whichever one you you want to have you use most makes more sense to have them up front now in case you haven't found these two cannot be moved cannot be removed so that's just the way you have to deal with it so this is really very straightforward and you can now do live television and your stream 4k there are other tuners that should work. It's just the HD Home Run is what I already had, and I've been been very pleased with it, and hopefully it's something that will work out well for you. I've got another video that's going to show you with that. Remember the, uh, let me scroll over here real quick, the, uh, the Live Channels app? Got a little surprise for you, and that's coming up in a video you'll probably have out later next week, and I'll show you how to even leverage it a step further just would have done it already today but i'm waiting on amazon for a delivery story of my life so that brings us to kind of we've covered things step in we've gone over the tivo stream 4k what you have to do there we've gone over the hd home run on setting that up so really it's and you'll need to have some sort of antenna but other than that that's really pretty much a, a straightforward situation now if you're watching this on youtube you're going to see videos 
on the screen that are the next steps to the one you've just watched or other content that you might be interested in. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on the like button, thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.